and maybe another time I'll go on Periscope and tell you more YouTube stories and tell you how I almost but absolutely do not know Dylan O'Brien. <laughs> and this, everyone, is uh, Brian Douglas Ahern, YouTube <clears throat> hypnotist. If you don't know him or haven't seen his videos, he's cooler than I am, which is why he's got like 10,000 times the followers. So click his face. I don't even have 10,000 followers. Click his followers. face and uh, no, 10,000 10, times more than I do is what oh, I'm saying. Okay. So All click right. his face right now on YouTube and for the next five seconds there'll be a box. You'll get to click him, you'll get to see him, you'll get to subscribe to his awesomeness. But now it's his birthday and you can see how excited he is. So it's been we, a good birthday. It has it it's so been far? really cool. <laughs> oh my god. I show, did I show you the first gift I got in the mail? Yes. I'm all excited. Do you, want, do you want to know what I got? Do you want to know what I got in the mail? It's a surprise. You have to wait till the end to figure it out. No, because then it'll be like a huge disappointment because they don't get anything out. My buddy Gus sent me Teen Wolf Season 5A, you know, the, the DVD set, and I'm like, I'm total junkie. I told you that I really almost but absolutely do not know Dylan O'Brien. That's a whole other story. But I do know Boheme. It's all connected. Why are we just sitting here? Aren't you supposed to do something? Excuse six me, degrees I, of separation. My dog. Oh, trust me, it's more than six. Uh, there we go. Uh, or actually, no, it's two then. Anyway, never hey, mind. Julian. He, you can't mess. Snapper can keeps bringing me tennis balls. Just throw one more. Oh, hey, I got an idea, buddy. Low power. We're gonna do a video. Can I get you in your happy place for a little bit? We'll be right here. Okay, here. Why don't you go in your happy place for a little bit? His happy place is his power. Kill. Come on, pal. Why? We're at 20% battery. That's not bad. Hey, the periscope eats a lot. Good. Like, I don't need you to be like, Mayday! Mayday! Let me turn the light on for you. Yeah, sure. Let's do yeah, this. Oh, hey, look. Things. 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 Ah. Yeah, sure. You can sit right here. Okay. Oof, yeah. Crap. Um, you know the suggestibility test, uh, the, uh, blah, 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 the book or weight in the... Uh, yeah, I used that recently. It was, it was very effective. I want to try that again. I haven't done it in a while, so can you, uh, please put your hands out, close your eyes. Sure. Um, make sure your dominant hand, uh, is a fist. Your other hand is palm up in front of you. Okay. Now, do you want to explain to the viewers what this test is? Or will you put it in the description? I'll hit. Okay. Do you all right. Eyes closed. I'm trying to hand, hand frames just right. right. So I want you to take a really, really, really deep breath in. Through the nose, slowly exhale through the mouth. And I want you to turn this fist like so, and just imagine going right through your hand like that as a string, feeling it pull all the way up to the ceiling where there's a mini balloon at the top filled with helium. And I want you to imagine, I just put a little, little tiny weight, like a one pound, nothing. You got that, you're a strong man. But continue breathing. Every time you exhale, you feel that weight increase by double. Every time you exhale and feel your hand being dragged down, you feel helium being injected into the balloon. Every time you exhale, every breath you breathe, every word I say, takes you deeper, and brings your hand deeper, just like that. It brings your hand higher, and higher. In fact, your hand goes all the way down to the couch while your hand still floats up. And the higher that hand floats up, the happier you become, the more high in life you become, the more you want to smile, smirk, chuckle, giggle, laugh, it becomes funnier and funnier and funnier, and then you just sleep. All the way down, right the way down, right the way deep. I thought you sound asleep and relaxed all the way down, mentally, physically, top of your head to the tips of your toes, completely relaxed. And in a moment when you wake up, everything will be back to normal, but any time I or another hypnotist you trust says the word sleep for the rest of tonight, any time I or Drew say the word sleep or do some type of induction, if it chooses do so. Otherwise, I will be the primary hypnotist. You will instantaneously go back into this mental and physical relaxed state. When you understand that, I just want you to slowly raise your left hand up to notify us that you understand that, and sleep, relax, deeper, two, three, four times deeper now, going back to 
one of the most peaceful moments in your life, thinking where you were, what you were doing, and what you could see. Because every time you're made to sleep, this is exactly where you'll be set back to, except you'll go here twice as quick, falling twice as deep, becoming twice as relaxed, coming out feeling twice as amazing, all mental physical stress completely gone. In a moment waking up, everything's back to normal, but again, any time I or any other hypnotist you may trust says the word sleep, does any type of induction, you will automatically go back down to sleep. When you wake up, all mental physical stress completely gone, on the count of three, about seven of my fingers. But you will laugh hysterically every time you look at your new hypnotist friend over in the chair. In fact, I encourage you highly to fight that feeling because the more you fight it, the stronger it becomes, the happier you will be. And the more you will lose your shit. Very happily and naturally. Once you take a deep breath in, lift up your head, and three eyes on my awake. How are you feeling? I feel like I don't want to look at your student because it can't do much for his self-esteem. <laughs> when you say that! But he's like there, and I'm thinking about what he looks like, and it's not helping because now it's almost like looking at him because I think visually, because I draw pictures. A lot of people do. But you know what helps better? I'm like... Is actually visually seeing him. Or at least the periscope. <laughs> it's like he took off his glasses or some shit. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> so so I, proud of you. I didn't laugh them away. <laughs> I didn't laugh them away. <laughs> this is enjoyable, actually. He still has them. Is that funny? <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Are you okay? You good? I'm good. I'm real good. Awesome. That's your student over there. <laughs> yeah, that's my student over there. <laughs> no, he's making faces. I didn't make a face. <laughs> yes, he did. I feel like mom, he's making faces at me. <laughs> I'm not mom! So I want to do a demonstration with you. <laughs> okay. So in a moment, um, I'm going to have you do something. Okay. And basically, um, what I want you to realize is that the more you try to unstick yourself, the more stuck you become. I'm just thinking about that and letting you go. I want you to stand up for me. Oh, okay. Right. You realize they're out of the shot here. That's fine. Just look at me. Okay. Take a deep breath in. And relax. Take another deep breath in. And relax. When you fall back down into the couch, comfortably, safely, you will fall four times deeper. Just let it happen. Let it start to fall. Let it Completely let go. Become loose and limp. Right now. All the way down. Right the way down. Right the way deep. Right the way. Sound asleep and relaxed. In a moment, you'll wake up. When you do, everything will be back to normal. However, you, yourself, have become the ultimate country boy. And you know exactly what you need to do to fulfill that character. And you know exactly what you want to do, how you want to do it. But the catch will be, from the moment I snap my fingers until you present yourself to me, Drew, the periscopers, and the camera, you will know what you're doing while you're doing it, but the second you present yourselves to us, up till that point you will not remember fully the suggestion or the process of getting everything on as quickly, efficiently, and safely as you do on the count of three and the snap of my fingers upon one, two, three. How you doing? I'm doing real good. Yeah? Yeah. So, it's your birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday. And how old are you, if you don't mind saying? I have uh, just turned 49. Doesn't, it doesn't seem like that, though. I feel a lot younger than that. You look a lot younger than that. <laughs> I've had a lot of people say, oh, you must be 36. And I'm like, I could give you a big kiss. <laughs> <laughs> 49 this year. Yeah, just turned 49. If I was, if I was like Jack Benny, I like a lot of old, old radio shows. 
Yeah. If I was Jack Benny, I'd just keep saying I was 39. When, yeah. when, when he died, he's a famous, famous comedian, radio, TV, and even vaudeville. When, uh, uh, when he turned, uh, we, he, he lived very long time. And when he died, uh, the obituary said uh, that he was born this year and he died on that year. And he was like 70, 80. And it said he was 39. Because that was his joke. Uh, he always uh, said that he was gotcha. 39. So. A question. Yeah. Did he have a famous dance? Oh, did Jack Benny or yeah. me? D Jack. Did oh, he no, he didn't. He played the violin, or at least he pretended to. Now, you asked, if I was asking about you, does that mean you have a, a famous dance? Wow, it's, it's not famous or nothing, but... Uh, so if I gave you a little like, something to go by... I like to dance. If I gave um, you a little something to go by, could you... It'd need a little more twang than that. <laughs> I See, okay, no, no, hang on a second. It's just, you make me want to get up and stomp, but... The thing is, I these are like these are like dicks. <laughs> Dude, no, come on now, come on, give me a break now, come on, look, look, look. Okay, no, give me a break. Okay, John, what? Dude, I got on my like my deck shoes. I can't dance. Oh, you can't dance. I can't dance on these. Sorry. I could. I in fact, could you? You can't just dance. <laughs> and get jiggy okay, with it. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. No. And have a great time. Dude, <laughs> stop clapping. You go. Stop clapping, please. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. I'm, I'm, you, I'm, am I still on? Mm -hmm. well, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm dressed all casual and stuff for kids. my birthday. I'm just kind of lounging around. Um, I really don't want them to see me like this. Can I, I just, can I get screwed up for you? Just a little bit, just a little bit. It'll only, it'll only take me a second. You mind? As long as you dance on the way. <laughs> I can do that. I can do that. All right. <laughs> so. What did you think of uh, <laughs> Prissy so far? <laughs> Freaking hilarious. <laughs> That's the <sense> screen myself. <laughs> uh, this is funny because now, now what's gonna happen is um, he's currently he's currently in the state of hypnosis, but he's going to his room. He's hyper focused in on the suit he's gonna come out with. He's gonna come out with the country boy outfit, and. He's not gonna fully remember this whole process when we take him out of it later. Uh, and I'm also going to have Drew hit and him next on the Country Boy thing. So we're gonna have a huge Country Boy routine, which is his favorite thing to do. And then we're gonna put Drew to the test I know what I'm gonna do. and uh, wing it. <laughs> oh, God. So, that's what's happening right now. <laughs> It's happening right now.